The following stream has been approved for all puzzle audiences by the Puzzle General Community. Okay, and we are live. Welcome everybody to the Mystery Puzzle Challenge. I am your host, Dark Aries, and along with me is uh, Blue Bomber285. How's it going? I'm doing well. How are you today? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, so today's m match, literally starting a little bit past midnight, is uh, Wind and Water Puzzle Battles. I'll put my audio down, don't worry, don't worry. I, I got this, I got this. Let's bring the game down a little bit here as well. Perfect, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, um, the match between Blasphemous Roar and TM was done earlier. I need to be up? I can bring myself up, that's fine. Let's fix that quickly before we actually start. So the match between Blasphemous Roar and TM was done earlier today. It was done in secret, as a bunch of other matches are going to be done. Unfortunately, the VOD got accidentally deleted for TM. So that's why it says error VOD not found. But we still do have his official uh, race Discord race bot time. So we, we still know how he did. It's just unfortunate that we can't watch how he did. But the live between Tayman and Paradox uh, Z13, said because I'm Canadian, is happening live at the moment. And uh, the video will be of Blasphemous Roar's run will be played alongside it. So it should be pretty fun. I think that uh, we're going to have a good time with this. So let me just uh, count our racers in. Let's get prepared to have some wind and water battles. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so a fun fact about this game actually is that um, it started off as a homebrew for a, kind of like a homebrew handheld type deal. And then it got ported over to the Dreamcast as well. And then uh, now has a PC port, and that's what the runners are actually playing right now. It's a game on Steam Greenlight. It's fairly fun. If you want to support the devs, you can obviously buy uh, their Dreamcast version that will work in an original Dreamcast. I'm going to let you actually explain the mechanics of this game, Blue. So the mechanics for this game is actually very simple. You're going to have this small board that has all these different tiles. And the object is to line up the elements, which are based off the Chinese elements of fire, wood, water, and metal, into a four diamond. And that'll clear them out. 
There's also many other little tricks like double clearing and full combos as well. Time combos. There's many different things for this game. Yeah, one of the interesting things about the game is actually the first couple levels is really a tutorial stage. So this is kind of one of the more perfect blind games that you could do since the game literally teaches you how to play as you go along. Uh, in our case, the goal for this game is to beat uh, stages A01 to stages A10, Amy's first battle. Um, so the runners have to be able to play... Uh, every single stage in there, they can't skip one or anything like that, and there is a little bit of a branching path. They have to finish the one part of the path, so... And Oops, yeah. I wanted to get rid of studio mode. Okay, there we go. And early on, yes, Tay may be in a tutorial mode, but they can exit the tutorial at any time. Yep. It looks like uh, his stream is... Maybe he's just reading. We'll see how f we'll see if this tutorial mode does keep Tay in the really far behind though. Yeah, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of Chinese influence in this game, like uh, with all the names and the characters and everything like that. So. It, if you're reading the plot of the game right now, the goal is to go find a character called Yuan, who's one of the devs of the game. And that's what you end up doing in stage A10. Yes, and he tells the story later on that you need to revive the elements. Yeah, I wouldn't count Tayman out just yet, because he's just because he's doing the tutorial mode, because he does play a lot of Pokemon Puzzle League and game action puzzlers styled like that. So I feel if as soon as he understands what he's supposed to be doing, he could very easily just breeze all the goals that he's supposed to do. I'm not too sure how Blast and Paradox fare with action puzzlers, but Tayman might be at a little bit of an advantage here. Yes, and the game teaches you how to do combos. If you continue going through the tutorials, it'll teach you how to do regular combos, um, full combos, uh, screen clear combos. There's a lot that this game offers with the different combinations. And the game actually has a, a tiny bit of a speedrunning scene as well. Um, I forget the user of the person. He has the world record. I believe he's German. Um, but we actually um, we actually watched kind of his run a little bit, like us in Puzzle General. There was if if you look into vods from either Cards of the Heart, Forky Me, or Lightning, probably only me or Cards still have our vods up. Uh, we tried to do a blind run of the game, any percent. I think we were at it for like two hours and we still didn't beat it. But this one runner can do it in like half an hour. It's ridiculous how good at, how good at the game he is. And Exuno is actually correct. It There is a golden tile that later appears and uh, later on in the game you actually learn its properties. Um, but I don't think they actually get into that uh, for up until after stage A10, so... Um, that golden tile can appear in, um, in A10, but it's not portrayed in the first few puzzles. Yeah, Verge of Apathy, Forky has me in chat. That, that's his name. Go look him up if you want to see a real speedrun of this game. It is godlike. Looks like, where are we at? Blast is on stage A4. Paradox is on stage A4. Looks like Tay is just Tay entering is stage just finishing A3. A2. Like I said, Tay, just because he did the tutorial doesn't mean he's really at a disadvantage. He technically has more knowledge compared to the rest of them.
Yes, and I feel for a game like this, the knowledge is definitely helpful. Yeah, one of the one of the things about this game, though, is getting used to its uh, movement mechanics, because it's not a regular cursor. So the fact that you need to basically create clears that fit inside your cursor in that cross diamond shape, and pieces rotate as that as well, it takes a little bit of getting used to for it. It's more... this game... Ugh, let's English this for a second. This game reminds me a lot of uh, Hexic on the Xbox 360, with its kind of like rotation mechanics and clearing mechanics. Yeah, it fits a little bit like that. I actually did um, read up on the dev that uh, uh, Young that actually created this. He said that he got the idea by looking at the tiles on his floor as they were kind of off like a one-two-one. Huh. That is some pretty legit inspiration. So yeah, it looks like Blast and Paradox are actually on the stage where you need to do a full combo of a single color. So this might be, uh, be where they might take a little bit. Yeah, the full combo is going to be a little difficult because you need to clear all the tiles of at least one color in a single clear. Yeah, if you, s you skip one, then uh, it doesn't count. Oh, is this the 500 score one? Okay. Full combo one's coming up, though. It's coming up. Yeah, what basically what happens is every single stage has its own goal that you need to keep. Um, later on in the game, there's uh, stages where it's like, you need to do uh, this large of a combo with this element. Or you need to create uh, this double full element, things like that. So you can't actually beat a stage unless you complete its uh, goal. Plus, each stage is on a timer as well. Depending on the stage, so there will be one where it's like you have to be able to do this in X amount of time If you don't beat it, well, you're gonna fail the stage Yeah, it looks like Tay Man is now on stage A4 which is clearing the water element So at least 20 of the blue tiles to be cleared. Oh, to that clear was the quick. stage He's already done A4 and Paradox is on the bonus stage, which is uh, just a little car driving game. He is uh, ahead of the pack right now, but uh, again, his only opponent that he has to worry about is Tayman. Even if Blast and TM beat him, he only has to beat Tayman in order to advance in the bracket. I see we have the Born to be Wild going off as the driving is going through. <laughs> Born to be Wild. Yes. I will also note for the car minigame, if you crash, you do start from the beginning of the minigame. Yeah, so that could be a bit of a time loss there as well. Looks like I am correct, though. Taman is catching up pretty well, because Blast only just kind of got out of A5. Oh, and Paradox finished with the mini state bonus stage. Also, I realize I have the music note on the wrong person on stream. Let me fix this. And let me make it not white on white. Fixing things live. Take inspiration from Fox News. There we go. My I idol is Bill O'Reilly for types of crash. stuff like this. Yeah, blast with the crash right there. Okay, so Tayman just finished A5. So far, Paradox is still on the lead here, but we'll see how he fares with uh, and got the rest the of the gold, stages. Got the gold tile, which is the wind tile that pairs with water. So I guess I'll explain that since we saw that. If the wind tile is pa paired with three water tiles, it gets rid of all the water tiles on the board. Very useful. Yes, 
that is very useful. It has good utility. And it also, those tiles get used in the, um, in the battles as well, once we get to A10. Oh, Tayman's just entering the bonus stage here now. Paradox is, uh, looks like he's trying to do the goal here of clear elements 30 times. Oh no, Tayman crashed! Who knows? I'm sure he'll be fine. One crash doesn't hurt, especially if it's right at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, Paradox just completed that stage. A7 of the 30 elements. Now should be the full combo coming up. There we go. Oh yes, Eddie showing off his buster sword. <laughs> yeah, the characters in this game are pretty legit. It's actually a really fun game. I do need to purchase the Dreamcast version at some point. Alright, Tayman's done with that stage there now. Hey man, only behind by one stage. Yeah, he's on the same stage as Blast now, so overall it's still a really good pace. Paradox has just managed to get ahead of the pact right now. But, uh, looks like he's struggling a bit with the full combo. I don't know what color he's going for right now. Personally, like... Playing this game is really frustrating for me because I don't like how similar uh, the elements are, at least the uh, what I think is green and orange. I, I don't like those colors. Not my thing. Being yeah, color wood and the sucks. coppers are very close in color. Looks like he's going for the wood. There we go. Stay That's clear. a full combo. Man, just uh, still doing his stuff on this stage here, trying to clear 30 elements. I believe it's 30 elements of each, 30 like tiles of each element, right? It says just 30 elements. I'm assuming it's mixed elements or 30 different tiles of elements. That looks like it could be enough. Hmm. What is he? Do? There we go. It looks like it is 30 tiles of each tile, yeah. Blast just getting onto stage 8 here, and Paradox looks like he has finally found you on, which is one of the depths of the game. Who is napping? And what makes this a nice, interesting story mode speedrun is that now, as we get to the final area of A. It is an official battle. Now, battle mechanics for this game work slightly different. Everything is based on a timer, and each element represents either offense or defense. I know fire represents offense, and water represents defense. So using them in conjunction to... Hop out your opponent and keep yourself healthy. Okay. Now Tayman's on to the full combo here. Looks like his video kind of glitched out for a little bit, but that's okay. Blast is still going for the uh, full combo here. Blast is on A9. That's the double element. Okay. Yeah, I... I didn't pay attention. Yeah, oh, damn, A9 is opting for another tutorial. 
This is definitely gonna set him back. Yeah, as you can see on Tayman's screen, the little portable to the left there, that's a GP2X, which was, it's kind of like, it was really designed just for like, emulators and everything. It just runs a version of Linux and people ported a bunch of stuff over to it and were making homebrew games and everything. And that's, that's the system this game originally came out on. And then the devs are like, well, let's put it out on Dreamcast because just Dreamcast is cool. And Tay actually gets the idea of the full combo and then skips out the rest of the tutorial. Alright, let's see if he can just catch up. Blast just finishes his stage here. Yeah, Blast got his uh, double clear for the element. The paradox here, he's, he's about halfway done and he's gonna get Yoon here very quickly. Paradox is super close to just having his match completed. Blast now on the same stage as Paradox. Tay's trying to do blue, but he can't get that blue in the corner. And Paradox... <laughs> he fell Wait. for it! Friggin' fell for it. Every single runner has fallen for it, even though I've told them. They think... so... As I said in the testers note, or at least I told them, the last stage has two parts. Don't dot done early. Paradox dot done early. Alright, so yeah, the, this stage has two parts. You have to... it's a best uh, two out of three, so... Now he just has to win the match again. Tay is on to the next stage here. Tay will be going on to the double clear now. The double clear is definitely tricky to set up. Uh huh. But Blast is now on start has uh, started the Yoon fight as well. It's got him about halfway down. Tay has got you second round almost halfway down after a minute into the fight. And Tay is going for the full combo with green. Yeah. That was actually a big attack from K. That's gonna end. That's gonna leave Yoon with nothing left. Oh yeah, Yoon is done. Boom. That would be uh. That's it for Paradox right there. Yep, Paradox will take that one. Now my he's bad. done. Time of 19:54. I saw on my timer. That's pretty good. Let's give him the golden seal of approval on the layout. Player... Doot. There we go. Yeah, this this is one of the more sh this is one of the shorter goals. I could have bumped it up for the purposes of this match, but I decided not to because it's it's just a really good kind of ending point goal. While afterwards it would be kind of arbitrary and a lot farther into the game. But I mean, 20 minutes is still pretty decent. You don't want matches to be super, super long, so... Tweaking the goals will be something that uh, we'll get down pat at some point. Tay is having a little bit of trouble trying to set up that double uh, clear. And I just saw the danger from Blast Screen on Yoon. That could end it. 
We are close. That'll do it. He was done. And that's game two for uh, for Blast. Yeah, he manages to uh, take the win right there. Let's give him the... It's like what? Race time of 21, 43, 44, something around there. Let's give him the winning golden puzzle. Hey man, just figured out the double clear. Alright, and then he's now on the final stage of the goal here. Hey man, just figured out the double clear. Alright, and then he's now on the final stage of the goal here. Come on, cutscene. Come on, cutscene. And now that Tay has actually gotten to the boss, to the um, to the fight with Yoon, I just gotta say I really like this music. Music is pretty baller. And now that Tay has actually gotten to the boss, to the uh, looks like Paradox is opting to play a bit more of the game right now. I just now. gotta say, I really like this music. Looks like just checking out the shop. Music is pretty baller. And now that Tay has actually gotten to the boss, to the looks like Paradox is opting to play a bit. I wonder more who this character right is. It's clearly not somebody with uh, just out you know, the one shop. of those comical glasses and noses. He is still doing his match, though. He is still doing his match. And that was a good hit from Tay, taking um, Yoon's born up about a third. Another third. Yoon's got very little room to work with now. Was a good hit from Tay taking hearing an um, echo on commentary. Third. What another third? Yoon's got very little room to work with now. I think Tay Man's about to fall for the same trap with Dot Dunning early. No, oh, never mind. I think he realized it. That will be a decent hit, and that's good defense over there for Tay. With the double clear on the metal fire, and then the um, defense on the water. Almost done. Oh yeah, that last combo is gonna end it. And he's done with 25, that was 57. On my watch here. Although he just got done now, so it's a little bit after that, but uh, so finishes in third place out of the four of them, and 
and uh, boom. This was, uh, we have, like I said, we do have the official race time for TM, which was 26.19 as we timed it when he got done. So, GG all around. I hope everybody enjoyed that uh, little game. A bit shorter of a goal, but I still think it was fairly entertaining. Just update the bracket here really quickly. Blasphemous moves ahead, and Paradox moves ahead. So this only leaves, let's see, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more matches in the first round of matches that we have here for the Mystery Puzzle Challenge. Uh, we'll try to update it as it goes along, and I'll be better at actually tweeting out the matches as they go. It was just a little bit hectic. Let's actually double check the schedule to see when the next match is on. Currently scheduled anyways. a match tomorrow. Let me figure out one. Okay, so we actually have a couple matches tomorrow. Yep, so the earliest one I see is at 7 o'clock with Sir Nico versus NPC and Knightley versus Cards. Yeah, and that's going to be really entertaining. Cards obviously being one of uh, Puzzle General's top hitters, heavyweight champion of the Pokemon Puzzle League tournament. So we'll see how he fares in this mystery puzzle challenge. Afterwards, there is an offline match with uh, Dark Fox and Devilish and Derby. And then a streamed match against ProXD and Aaron Dobe at uh, 2200. So that would be 10 o'clock Eastern. And obviously we will attach the offline match with Dark Fox and Devilish and Derby to the match with ProXD and Aaron Dobe. So, two matches tomorrow that you guys can tune into, one at 7, one at 10. I hope to see you guys there. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. I was Dark Aries, and this is my co-host, Blue Bomber. Say goodbye. Alright guys, we'll see you later at the next one. See you folks. <laughs>